and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamie and this is Border Bananas. If you're new, thanks for stopping by. Um, I would love to have you subscribe. So, okay, so today we're going to give you a few updates in my home. It's not finished by any means, um, but I've had so many questions on Instagram and here on YouTube um, for updates and um, sources of things that I've purchased and installed that um, I wanted to go ahead and do this for you now and then I'll just do an update later. Capiche, capiche. We just put in all new flooring and we're still working on the trim in the house. The trim isn't finished. It's going to be a little bit at a time as we go. The flooring we chose is Lakeshore Pecan is the finish by Traffic Master. That's the brand and we got it at Home Depot. Uh, we looked at it online and then uh, we went to the store, looked at it, made sure it's, it is what we wanted and it was, it was it's gorgeous. Um, and then we ordered it online. We ordered it online because by ordering it online you get free shipping. If you order it in the store, you do not, it's a $90 charge. Also, by ordering it online, um, we saved a ton of money because we ordered it by the pallet. In store, if you order it in store, it's 79 cents a square foot. Yeah, that's right, only 79 cents a square foot. If you order it online by the pallet, which is a little over a thousand square feet, I think it's like a thousand and sixty-six square feet, which was more than we needed for our home um, for the main level. Uh, it was 71 cents a square foot. Now, that's an eight cents a square foot difference and on a thousand square feet, that's a hefty little chunk of change, right? It's shipped directly to your home. They have a big freight truck with a pallet <laughs> mover thing. <laughs> um, and they just put it wherever you want it to go, basically. Um, and it, it worked out so swell. Now for the underlayment, we also chose the Traffic Master underlayment, which was, uh, I believe it's 29 cents in the store and all 21 cents online. So we saved another eight cents a square foot there. Another 90 bucks. Just by placing the order online and having it delivered to our home and buying it in bulk, we saved $270 just by doing that. So, Traffic Master Lake Shore Pecan is what we got. It is beautiful. I absolutely love it. It's this great, I want a warm wood, but it looks like it's just like washed up on the lake shore. <laughs> Very, um, it has really great texture. It looks like texture. Um, but it's not texture, which was important to me because texture is a pain to clean when you have children and animals. So um, it has a beautiful grain. And then I just, I fell in love with it. So I Googled it and I Googled it and I YouTubed it and I Googled it some more. And the reviews are raving. And I'm going to have to add to that because I... I'm so impressed with the quality of this flooring. This is the cheapest flooring we have ever installed in our home. And I would have to say it's probably the best quality. We uh, put in uh, laminate flooring in our basement as well 10 years ago, maybe. Yeah, 10 years ago. And it was so much harder to work with. The quality wasn't as good. The pieces were all chipped up on the corners and we had to make cutoffs and it was just, it was easy install is because laminate is easier than hardwood. But as far as laminate goes, that was a disaster. We had none of that with this flooring. This flooring went in like a dream. It was so easy to install. Um, I watched a video where a guy was like beating on it with a lug nut, like a big heavy lug nut, and he was just going to town, a scraping tool, he took a hammer to it, and although he did get it to scratch and dent slightly, he rubbed his fingers across it, and you couldn't see it anymore. And I, I've already dropped quite a few things on this floor, and there ain't nothing that is made a mark yet. <laughs> We've had it in for about a week now. So um, I've already, it's already been mopped a few times and swept almost daily at cleanup. 
we did the entire house in this, so there's no, I don't have to vacuum if I don't want to, or if I do vacuum, I vacuum the whole floor, but I can basically just sweep and mop the whole floor. It takes me 20 minutes to do both. It is so much easier and I love it. However, you might notice that there is a bit of an echo in here. So um, we do plan on getting an area rug to reduce that a little bit. Um, but other than that, uh, I'm just going to, to show you uh, what it looks like. I'll give you a, a tour of the trim and how it's coming and what our plans are for the trim that we haven't finished yet. As well as a couple, I found a furniture piece online. I'll just give you the whole shebang. So stay tuned. Okay, so one of the biggest and my most favorite, well, one of my most favorite changes in the house is we took out our island so we could have an eating kitchen. Our island used to go right here in front of the dishwasher, right there. Basically, it's right where the end of the table was and we took it out and I just love it. I think it really opens up the space. It, the footprint is so much better. And it's just, it's really light and airy feeling in here and I just love it. Now we didn't get rid of our island. We basically just moved it and put it over in the corner so it's more of a bay of cabinets. And it's over there in the bottom right hand corner and I will give you a closer look at that in a minute. That is basically what we did. We got a little sneak peek of the floor here. We got white trim there, you can see it above my uh, patio doors there. Now we don't have the oak painted yet. Uh, it will be. We need to caulk and whatnot, but you'll see why I haven't done that yet. But I'm just loving the way that it's turned out. Now, the only thing that bothers me, and I knew that it would, but I knew that I would be able to somehow come up with a creative solution is the lighting in my kitchen. It's the only overhead lighting we have in the house, and it bothers me that there's one on each side of the table, and they're not... Um, the same amount of, of distance away from that wall back there. Uh, so I need to come up with a creative way. I thought about just swagging the chandelier over the table, um, which I might do in the future. I have to think about it though. So if this is my question to you guys, if you were me, what would you do? What are your ideas. I would love, 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 love ideas on this because this is the one thing that is bothering me and I knew that it would. Okay, now I'm going to give you another view. Okay, so this is the bay of cabinets that I moved um, and I just moved it over here. I turned it into more of like a workstation for me. So I'll prop my computer up over here when I want to. I charge all my cords and stuff over there. You can kind of see them hiding behind that uh, frame over there and I just love it here. I did just redecorate my hutch as well because that has been empty for so long. So right now I'm just trying to keep it super simple. I love the way it turned out. I've got all my milk glass on display. Well, not all of it. I have some bowls that wouldn't fit. <laughs> but uh, I've got a lot of it on display and I love it. I've never put it all on display before. And I decided to clear my counters of my canisters and put them on the hutch. And I think it's really striking on the black. I actually, I really enjoy it. So over in this tray over here, I have um, a bunch of thrifted items. The tray is from Walmart. The frame was thrifted from Goodwill as well as the picture inside. It actually came from a book. I will link that uh, haul down below. And I just love this the way this came out. The uh, eucalyptus is from Hobby Lobby. I got quite a bit ago, but it just looks like that. And I love it because it just hides my cords and my charging. I've got a camera battery charging and you can't barely tell. And over here I just keep my planner and my phone and my water bottle. I put some pussy willow down here, but here is where you are going to get a really good view of my flooring. This register here is the only register in the house that isn't hidden by either curtain panels or by furniture. So we decided to splurge. This register came from Lowe's and it's cast iron and I love it. It was $20 for one register, but we only had to buy one. Eventually I'll have to buy one for my bathroom, but that's okay. <laughs> that's down the road and it's easier to short fork out 20 bucks at a time than it is to do an entire house in these registers, which I have no plan to do. Just the ones that you can see. 
So there's a little tip. Okay, so here is yet another view of my home. <laughs> You're gonna see that there is a spot back there on the wall. That's where my husband rubs his, like he has a swivel chair and he sits over there and he games and it rubs on the wall. So we have to patch that. I think I do that every spring. Oh well, what can I say? But this chair right here, that chair right here that my cat has so lovingly called his own and has not moved from it basically, <laughs> I just got on Facebook for $20. Yes, I call this lovingly my granny chair. I think every grandma in the history of the world has probably had a chair very similar to this, and I just love it. I think it makes it feel like home in here. So this end table was also a Facebook find. I have the matching uh, coffee table. I will show you that as well. Uh, I, that I just refinished um, in the farmhouse style. I just painted it white and distressed it and redid the top and added some new hardware and I think it turned out great. The lamp is also thrifted. I'll give you a closer look in just a moment. My couch, you guys, needs a little help. We, I plan on getting an Ektorp here in this near future, but as far as it goes, you know, we have to save dollar by dollar, right? And then over here, I have this cabinet. Um, this is a vintage secretary that I also got on Facebook, <laughs> uh, and I am just loving it. It's holding most of my office supplies as well as my YouTube equipment. And then over here on my TV wall, I have these two thrifted chairs. Eventually, they will probably not stay here, but I think they're going to go down in my bedroom. And I have a piece of furniture underneath here that is going to be replaced as well. I have a desk downstairs that was my son's that I'm going to be refinishing and bringing that up and upcycling it into a console table. So stay tuned for that video as well. And here is the matching coffee table that I just refinished. I love the way it looks with my floors. Uh, my floors always come up a little bit darker than what I believe they are in real life <laughs> on camera. So um, just take note of that, that they're not quite as dark as it shows on camera. So the reason why I haven't finished the trim as in caulking and painting and all that goodness is because we could only fit so much in our van and we just ran out just around here and a little bit at the stairs. Okay, so this is my hallway. I don't really show it too often, but this is the way our trim looked. It's really hard to record in there, that's why. This is how our trim has worked out. Our oak has turned so orange, it is so ugly. I can't stand it, I can't wait to paint it. <laughs> For the trim, this is one by four pre-primed MDF. I would highly suggest to shop around when you get when you're looking for your trim. We went to Home Depot, Lowe's, and Menards, and for the same trim, we saved three dollars per stick at Menards. It was eight dollars per board at Home Depot and Lowe's, as well, at, and then it was five dollars a board for the one by fours at Menards. Now, I can't exactly remember how much the one by twos were, but I wanna say they were under $3. They were like two something. Um, but that is how that's turning out. And just because most trim that comes in like a builder grade house that are, is a little over, it's like two and a half inches. It's under three inches. So this is almost four. If you get a one by four, it's really like three quarters by uh, three and three quarters. Just bulking it up that much makes it look so much nicer. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I apologize if you hear the washing machine going and the you know the traffic or whatever. I have all the windows open two weeks ago. It, we had a blizzard and today it's supposed to be 80 degrees and stormy. So <laughs> we're enjoying this weekend or this weather. It's not the weekend, it's Monday. <laughs> But um, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Mwah! Subscribe! <laughs> Were you just waiting, Maddie?